So what's your vision of the future for Memorial Hospital? That's an excellent question. My answer lies in the success that we've achieved at the new neurosurgery wing. It's state-of-the-art, cutting edge, staying at the forefront of both technology and practice. But that doesn't come cheap. No, nor should it. That's why our fundraising needs to be as aggressive as our treatments. Money saves lives. It's as simple as that. The better we are, the more money we raise. The more money we raise, the better we become. An insightful answer, Doctor. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Hughes, your specialty is pediatrics. What's your take on the present system in, in that arena? Um, I guess I'd have to say that I'm, I'm proud of my work here and, and my team. No room for improvement. Oh, always, always room for improvement. In fact, I have some extensive notes and ideas that would bring us uh, into the 21st century. Uh, I'd be happy to send you copies for all of you to peruse. No offense, Katie, but it seems like Reed is mopping the floor with your boyfriend. Chris is just getting warmed up. What is the matter with him? I don't know. Could you lay it out for us now? Certainly, certainly. Uh, uh, very detailed, though. But I can assure you that uh, they're very interesting and cutting-edge plans. For some bizarre reason, Dr. Hughes seems to have been bitten by the modesty bug this evening. I can handle it. Reed, thank you very much. Well, why don't you tell them what you were telling me earlier? I, I wish I had thought of it myself. I loved your idea of adding the holistic element to certain treatment techniques. Yes. Uh, yes, that's something that I, I think we should explore. The studies have shown that alongside traditional medical courses of action, that it's a highly effective way of treating younger patients. I've read that myself. It's a very good idea. Thank you. Listen, uh, I think that's enough grilling for the moment. Why don't we take a break? is definitely not acting like himself. This is exactly what I was worried about. Dear God, do you think something's wrong? I don't know. Can I get a water, please? Thank you for that. You need to get to a hospital. You're not going to be able to cover much longer. Are you always this stubborn with all your patients? Yeah, when they're acting like idiots, I am. You're sick. You're risking irreparable damage to your heart. I just have to get through tonight, that's all. Yeah, from the looks of you, you're not gonna make it. That's why you need to see a cardiologist immediately. A cardiologist? Why? Reed and I were just discussing the cardiology department. Debating, really. What about it? Well, I want to uh, hire a local specialist. And of course, Reed, always thinking outside the box, wants to bring in someone who has a reputation like John Dixon. Right, Reed? Whatever you say. Excuse me. What is wrong with him? Oh, he's probably just upset that he stepped in for me earlier and helped me out. Yeah, why did he have to do that? What's wrong? What happened? I mean, your answers were all over the place. I was worried. Oh, they just, they caught me off guard. It's not... How did they catch you off guard? Isn't that why we're here? So you can impress the board? It is, and I will. Look, don't, don't worry. I got a strategy. Really? Mm -hmm. What is it? Look, son, uh... If you don't want this position, why don't you just say so and you can back out now? Well, wait a minute. Who says I don't want it? Well, your behavior, for one thing. I mean, you were lucky that Reed stepped in and saved you. Oh, Dad, I was doing fine without him. Is that what you think? Yes. Well, I hate to say this to you, but uh, you were far from fine just now. Oh, <clears throat> actually, you were probably a little nervous. But the ice has been broken, and you have the entire evening to go ahead and impress him. Which is exactly what Dr. Oliver's been doing, and quite successfully, I might add. Actually, I thought his jumping in for Chris and answering that question made him look uh, pretty arrogant. I think so, too. But I bet that's exactly what Chris had planned, right? Well, I, um... You mean you knew that he was going to come in and try to rescue you, and that was going to make him look bad? No, look, I, I was surprised that he did that, okay? And grateful as well. Then you do admit that you're having a rough time. Dad, I admit that I had a rocky start. Doesn't mean I'm going to have a rocky finish, okay? Exactly, exactly. You've got a lot of schmoozing to do, so go for it, son. All right, well, first I just need a tall, cool drink. <laughs> I can have a club soda, please. Why don't you get something stronger? It'll calm you down a little. You know what I'd really love to do? Get out of here. Well, you still have a little schmoozing to do, right? I think I had enough of that. They love me, I can tell. You know what, let's, 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 unless you want to stay. I'm only here for you. In that case, let's go. You're serious? Dead serious. Okay. The hell is he going now? Oh, uh, getting fresh air? Oh, they're leaving. 
This is what I was talking about. Either he doesn't want this job or he thinks he's got it because he's my son. You just... Uh, you're being so hard on him. No, no, listen, I'm out of this completely. He's on his own. Sometimes I really think you don't want him to have the job. How can you say that? You know it's always been my dream that he follow in my footsteps at Memorial. That's why it's so upsetting. But if you want him to succeed, then why do you turn your back on him? Well, I guess he's got to learn, maybe even the hard way, that you're not chosen for a position like this because you get a recommendation from dear old Dad. You have to deserve it. Wait. What's really going on here? Are we back to that again? No, I'm talking about Chris. You had those trustees eating out of your hand. I did, didn't I? Yeah, and Chris was about to fall on his face. You saved the moment for him. Why? Uh, I want to give him a fighting chance. Don't want him to be defeated before he's hardly gotten out of the gate. This will make it more fun to beat him in the end. Cut it out. You're lying to me again. You're still mad about that patient at the hotel. Hmm. Let's not talk about the patient at the hotel. Let's not talk about Chris. Let's talk about us. If life with you is going to be a parade of secrets and lies, I don't want any part of it. Luke, you're overreacting. And you're lying. Because I have to. All right, that's it. Luke, wait. Chris is the patient at the hotel. What? He is very sick. I'm the only one who knows. So how long has Chris been like this? I don't know how long the virus has been in his system, but the symptoms have hit him hard and fast. They're attacking his heart muscle. Well, then why did he come to you? You're not a cardiologist. He didn't come to me. I caught him drawing his own blood. As much as I've tried, I can't convince him to see a cardiologist. Well, that's insane. Why is he being so stubborn? I assume he wants to stay in the running for the chief of staff position. And risk death? Apparently. Although that would make my life easier. Wouldn't have to carry around this secret anymore, or my competition would disappear. Reed, Reed, don't even pretend that this is funny. I know it's not. A couple of months ago, I wouldn't have cared. I definitely wouldn't have gotten involved. And now you're seeing a patient in private, keeping secrets for a guy who's after the same job that you want? Even stepping up to help him get the job. Good God, who the hell am I? I hardly recognize myself. Reed, shut up with all this fake bravado. Underneath it all, you're a doctor. And you have a good heart. And you can't stand to see anyone suffer. Usually I don't mind seeing them fail. Especially if they have something I want and they're standing in my way. Well, could it be that you're actually evolving? I'm changing, that's for sure. I guess I have you to thank for that. You must have really hated being there. Why do you say that? Because you were pale as a ghost at Metro, and now you seem almost normal. Ah, a little bit of a headache. Took an aspirin. Feel much better now. No, it was more than that. You seemed so wiped out at the party. Were you nervous? No, not at all. And then Reed, I don't know what was up with him. He was acting like your best friend. Yeah, well, he... Probably recognizes that I'll get the job, you know, wants to get on my good side, that's all. Confident much? Always, especially when you're with me. I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're not gonna suddenly turn cold on me again, are you? No. Scout's honor. Good, because I'd have to get out a baseball bat and hit you over the head with it if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want that to happen, would we? No, we would not. Wanna come in? Do you want me to? What do you think? I will take that as a yes. So, do you want me to get you anything? Something to drink, to eat? The only thing I want right now would be you. Ooh. What about Jacob? He is staying at Allie's tonight. Cool. Yeah, very good. <laughs> 